And it came to pass at this time in the city of Galilee called Nazareth that the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a virgin, espoused to a man called Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Hail, Mary. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of the Lord. Fear not, Mary, for you have found grace with God. Behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. How shall this be done? Because I know not man. The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow you. And the Holy, which shall be born of you, shall be called the Son of God. The Son of God? Behold, your cousin Elizabeth, she also hath conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her that is called barren. The Son of God? My son? Because no word shall be impossible with God. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word is made flesh and dwells among us. food. It is theirs to waste if they choose. They don't eat, they don't sleep. But we do. Bring the wine. One of the camel drivers says the caravan has changed direction three times in the last week. He thinks we are lost. When your camel driver owns a palace in Babylon, like one of theirs, I will listen to what he thinks. Bring the wine. No, no, later. Have you compared its position to my cab with that of three days ago? Unchanged. Just some wine. So it cannot be Alfred. And that completes the constellation, does it not, Gaspar? Unquestionably. Then there is only one conclusion. It is a new star. And of the first magnitude. This is a star that heralds the new king of Israel. Which brings us back to the prophecy. A Judean prophecy. But recorded by Zoroaster. This king shall rise out of Jacob, and a scepter shall spring up from Israel. What else would it mean but that this king is to be born in Judah? 
It is over Israel that this star has appeared. Then you wish to continue the journey? If this star is new and heralds a king, only in Judah can we confirm the prophecies foretelling him. We have come this far. A king heralded by a star. What king of kings would this be? from Herod, the noble king of Judah. <laughs> it is hereby decreed by Caesar Augustus, emperor of Rome and sovereign of all nations, that the whole I world should be enrolled. Myself. Within 30 days, the head of each family shall go to his village of origin, and there he shall register. <laughs> Let no man disobey this decree, lest he come to judgment. I, King Herod, do command it. This is just like Herod. Herod, how long must we endure his tyranny? Register within 30 days, huh? It is not enough that the Romans tax us into poverty. Now we must leave our homes. The winter rains will be starting soon. We'll tend our fields when we're away. I go to Hebron, a week's journey. And I go to Gaza, even farther. This comes at a bad time for you, Joseph. Yes, but there's no helping it. What will you do? Leave at once and pray that I am back from Bethlehem before the child is born. It is wiser that I go alone, Mary. I can travel more quickly. And at this time of the year, the way will be cold and wet. If I leave with the caravan now, I should be back in eight or nine days at the most. Yes, Joseph. Even if the child should come while I'm gone, here, you will have friends and neighbors to care for you. The wife of Tobiah has delivered many children. She leaves tomorrow with her husband for Jericho. Then the mother of Jeremiah, a woman so old, would not be making the long journey to Beersheba. You want to come with me to Bethlehem? Yes, Joseph.
constellation. But the star is no longer there. We are moving slightly south of Jerusalem. How far is the city itself? Two, perhaps three hours. Might the star's disappearance mean the new king has already been born? In Jerusalem? It is the throne of Herod. And his son would be a king. sleeping quarters? Or just the two of you? Yes. I think so. I had almost given up hope. Bethlehem is the city of my birth. But we have looked everywhere. And I can put you in the common room. You will have a dry floor to lie on. You must not think I'm ungrateful, but my wife is with child, and you need privacy. Yes. Her time is nearly come. I would help you if I could, but uh, there is no room here. And I cannot think unless anything. It is a poor substitute, but I have a stable. A stable? I. Yes, yes, thank you. I have spoken with the priests and elders of my council in regard to this prophesied ruler whom you seek. He... He will be no son of mine. Do you put trust in the prophecies, King Herod? Yes. Uh, but he will be a spiritual monarch, a messiah. The promised prophet sprung from David. But was not David a king? Centuries ago. This new monarch is sent from God. <laughs> he poses no threat to me. Is there no mention in your prophecies of the manner or place in which the child will be born? My counsel tells me he is to be born of a virgin and called Emmanuel, God with us. And that the place of his birth is set forth in the oracles of Micchaeus. And you, Bethlehem, are far from the least among the princes of Judah. For out of you will arise a leader who is to be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Bethlehem. It calls him a ruler? But a spiritual ruler. The prince of peace. 
sent from the Most High. Then, worthy of our homage? Oh, truly worthy. And of mine. Go to Bethlehem and inquire carefully for the child. And when you have found him, bring me back word so that I too may come and worship him. Appeared over Bethlehem. Make haste. is this? Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For in the city of David, a Savior is born to you, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you, you will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. is Bethlehem. A babe in a manger who is Christ the Lord. Let us go quickly. God appeared to us to say that an infant Savior was born. Christ the Lord, born tonight. And wrapped in swaddling clothes, laid in a manger. He is born. Come.
Mary. It is after curfew. We must keep looking. I intend to, but you've had no food. No rest since last evening. Let me take you back to Joanna. I could not sleep. I... Can this mean that his time has come so soon? I cannot think so. Come, we'll search. What is it? Soldiers. Look at this! Don't you know there's a curfew in the city? Yes, but our son is lost. He came here with us from Nazareth for the holy days. You won't find him on the streets at this hour. Where are you staying? At the house of Joanna. Go there and be quick about it. Just a minute. Thank you. Just a minute. Take your hand from her. You're violating the law. Take your hand from her. I'm placing him under arrest. Come along. This Joanna, at whose house you are staying, is the wife of Chusa, Herod Steward. Get Marcellus. When was your boy last seen? Yesterday evening, the street of the tent maker. You are aware that the city is swarming with child stealers. Accompany this man and woman to the house of Chusa. And see, they don't leave there again tonight. May we not continue to search for him? No. You should be grateful I have not ordered your husband flogged for this offense. I am more grateful than I can ever say. Marcellus. Yes? Leave orders with the patrol officers of the next watch to be on the lookout for a boy. About 12. White tunic, dark hair and eyes. About this tall. Yes, Centurion. You have not slept at all. Neither have you. All night I have searched my mind to discover how I may have failed him as a foster father. No, Joseph. Yes, in many ways I have. You know how deeply he loves you? Yes. That is what makes this so unforgivable. That I, so honored to rear him as my own, I should have let this happen. If it is God's will. How can I hope for that? I have been charged with protecting you both. Joseph, and... we have learned where he's staying. At the house of Libna. Jesus left the house just after the morning meal in company with Libna and two scholars. Where did they go? The lad says they were bound for the temple. Lib 
Libna. That is the priest, Libna. Good day, Joanna. These are the parents of Jesus of Nazareth. He is your son? Yes. Is he with you? For two days and nights, he has been with me. Where is he now? Here in the temple. His wisdom is prodigious. The doctors and teachers have remarked that never. Please, where can he be found? Just inside the court. But he has not given us a full answer to my question. No matter, the question itself is a foolish one. Foolish? It says clearly in the writings of Isaiah. You needn't quote me the writings of Isaiah. I know them quite well. It would hardly seem so when you ask such a question. The boy said man's deepest obligation to God is obedience to his will. Now... His law, not his will. I know what I heard. If he said law, I would not have pursued the point. He said will. But what is the law if not his will? Will you be kind enough to let me finish speaking? My son. Mother. My son. Son, why hast thou done so to us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. How is it you sought me? Did you not know? that I must be about my father's business? And so it was, convinced that Jesus was lost to them, that they found him at last. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. And his mother kept all these words in her heart and Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and grace with God and men. This is the holy city of Jerusalem in the 33rd year of our Lord at the time of the Passover. the Pasch of ancient Judea, the traditional offering up of a sacrifice to God, always the holiest of feasts. But tonight, as Jerusalem prepares to eat the sacrificial lamb according to the ancient ritual, a new victim, the Son of God, is about to offer himself in sacrifice. It is no longer a question of whether this blasphemer is to be put to death. We all agree that he should die. But not during the festival days. Why? When else can he be taken more easily? If at all. Three times already he has slipped through our fingers. We must risk that. Aaron is right. The city is now too crowded with followers of this Jesus. Three days ago, they offered to make him a king, but he refused. No matter. The people are not to be thrown in tumult. He must not be taken now. What is it, Malchus? The man Judas would speak with the high priest. He who follows the Galilean? The Iscariot? He has been here before. Send him in, Malchus. <laughs>
I can deliver him into your hands. You seek the Christ. I can hand him over to you. In return for what? Money. We will not want him until the holy days are past. I can hand him over. Until you do, there will be no payment. I know his every move. Tomorrow, he will be here in Jerusalem to eat the Pasch. And the price? 30 silver pieces. With longing, I have desired to eat this pasch with you before I suffer. But there is a passage in scripture which remains to be fulfilled. The man who shared my bread has lifted his heel to trip me up. Amen, amen, I say to you. One of you shall betray me. Is it I, Lord? Is it I? Lord. Is it I? Is it I? Master, is it I? Is it I? Is it I, Lord? Thou hast said it. That which you do, do quickly. My children, it is only for a short time that I am with you. You will seek me, but where I go, you cannot come. Lord, where are you going? Where I go, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me hereafter. Why can I not follow you now? Tonight, you will all lose courage over me. For it has been written of me, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of his flock will be scattered. Lord, I will lay down my life for you. Will you lay down your life for me, Peter? I say to you, before the cock crows twice, you shall deny me thrice. I say to you, if you would take him, take him now. He knows of my betrayal. You fool! It was no fault of mine. I said no word, gave no sign. There is no helping it, Caiaphas. He must be taken. He will go next from the feast to Gethsemane. It is his custom to go to the garden 
prank. And from there? I do not know. But you can take him in the garden tonight. After tonight, I can promise nothing. Malchus! Call out your men. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world sees me no more. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will teach you all truth. You have sorrow now, but I will see you again. And your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man shall take from you. Behold, the hour comes, and it is now come that you shall be scattered, every man going his own way, and shall leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will find only tribulation. But take courage. I have overcome the world. Father, glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. I have completed the work you gave me to do. I am offering a prayer for those you have entrusted to me. For yours they are. I want them to behold my glory. The glory you bestowed on me because you love me. Just Father, may the love with which you love me dwell in them as I too dwell in them. Father, the hour has come. Let us go hence. My soul is ready to die with sorrow. Stay here and watch with me.
Father, if it is possible, let this chalice pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. You have your instructions. You will find the Christ as Judas has said. In Gethsemane, arrest him and bring him here to me. This man we are to arrest, the Christ. How will we know him from the others? Whomsoever I shall kiss, that is he. Hold him fast. Sleep and take your rest hereafter. The time has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Let us go on our way. up. Already he that is to betray me is close at hand. Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Whom do you seek? Jesus of Nazareth. I am Jesus of Nazareth. Whom do you seek? Jesus of Nazareth. I have told you already that I am Jesus. If I am the man you are looking for, let these others go free. Peter! Put up thy sword into its place. Think you that I cannot ask my father and he will give me presently more than twelve legions of angels? Am I not to drink the chalice which my father has appointed for me? You have come out to my arrest with swords and clubs as if I were a robber. And yet I used to sit teaching in the temple close to you day after day and you never laid hands on me. But your time has come now and darkness has its will.
Are you the king of the Jews? Do you say this of your own accord? Or is it what others have told you of me? It is your own nation and its chief priests who have given you up to me. What offense have you committed? My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would be fighting to prevent my falling into the hands of the Jews. But my kingdom does not take its origin from here. You are a king then. It is your own lips that have called me a king. For this was I born. For this came I into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Whoever belongs to the truth listens to my voice. What is truth? Bring the man. you brought this man to me. I cannot discover any fault in him. He rouses sedition among the people. He has gone about the whole of Judea, preaching, beginning in yes. Galilee and ending here. Yes. Yes. yes! Is he then a Galilean? Yes! yes. yes. A Galilean! The man comes under Herod's jurisdiction. Plead your case before him. He has blasphemed the living God. This Christ has threatened to destroy our holy temple. Enough. Enough. I will judge this. This wonder worker. That is how you are known. A man who can walk on water. <laughs> Be silent! You laugh at sorcery you do not fathom. <laughs> they are fools. I have heard, too, that you have cured the sick. I am a firm believer in magical powers. I need no convincing. Curing the sick. Healing lepers. I have heard that you have done that. Healing lepers. Modesty seals your tongue. A modest magician. A rarity. <laughs> this man is not mocked. Fools. They have not faith. Not faith in signs or wonders. The man, Lazarus, that is the greatest wonder. The man who died and was laid in the tomb and now lives because you raised him from death. And I have heard of your great miracle at Cana where you changed water into wine. Now, that is the sort of miracle this court could appreciate.
change this water into something fit to drink. Are you truly powerless, Galilean? Or do you perform for lowly villagers that which you refuse to do for your king? You forget, Herod. He has claimed he is also a ah, king. Ah, so be it then. A king he would be. A king we shall make him. A robe. A fitting robe for this monarch that all shall know him. Your Majesty. Bow to the fool. Bow to the royalty in our midst! Bow! Bow! His crown must come from Rome. I have brought this man before me as one who seduces the people from their allegiance. I examined him in your presence and could find no substance in any of the charges you bring against him. We want Barabbas. Give us a Barabbas. We want 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 Barabbas. You have charged that he exhorted the people forbidding the payment of taxes to Caesar. Yet, by your own evidence, you quoted him as saying, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and the taxes are Caesar's. You accuse him of stirring up the people with his preachings, but he spoke openly and before many. Think you the eyes of Pilate are so blind and his ears so deaf that a dangerous seditionist could command your attention and escape mine? Your loyalty to Rome is touching. I find no guilt in this man, and neither has Herod. His blasphemy deserves death. He claims to be the son of God. The son of what God? No Roman God. Hate this. Pilate, you too are accountable to Rome, and Caesar is not insensitive to the will of Judea. Oppose us, and we are within our rights to demand a new procurator. We want Barabbas. Prisoner Barabbas, for whom they shot. What are his crimes? Murder. Theft. A lifetime of it. Why do the fools clamor for his release? He has friends in the crowd. I'll wager the Galilean has more. Have the man Barabbas brought here. Barabbas, the procurator wants to see you.
It is your custom, a custom upon which Rome looks with favor, to have a prisoner released to you during this time of festival. I therefore offer you a choice. The rioter and murderer Barabbas, or this man Jesus, in whom I find no guilt, Whom shall I release to you? Free Barabbas! Give us Barabbas! We want Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Barabbas! What shall I do with Jesus, that is called the Christ? Crucify him! Let him be crucified! Crucify him! Crucify him! Silence! I find no cause of death in him. I chastise him, therefore, and let him go. No! Give them over to the scourgers. Release Barabbas. Chalice may not pass away, but I must drink it. Thy will be done. You're on double pay. I earned it. I fought at Carthage, the Helvetian. For what I get, I might as well be on the door. I wouldn't worry about double pay if I were you. Hey, how was the scourging? Why didn't you come out and look? I just came off guard just before you came. Didn't say a word. Not once did he cry out. For 20 years, I have been leaving my marks on men. But I never beat a man like this one before. <laughs> How many times did you hit him? 
If you want to know, go count the marks on him. You're getting old. <laughs> I just use this on a real man. Where'd they take him? I don't know. I didn't watch. Chief, where'd they take the man? I don't know. I never care what happens to them. When I get through with them. And that goes for this Carpenter King, too. I am done with him. Put the king on his throne. Does he not now look like a king? He's beginning to, but of course. A scepter. Your scepter, mighty monarch. A crown. That is what he lacks. The king needs a crown. I think this king ought to work a miracle. A miracle indeed. <laughs> Fine for everybody. He would not work one for Herod. But he should work one for us, his loyal subjects. After all, Majesty, aren't kings supposed to take care of their subjects? <laughs> Perhaps instead of working a miracle, you will reveal something hidden to us. <laughs> Tell us, oh great king, who struck thee? Who struck him? <laughs> crown you king.
am bringing him out to you. Behold the man. Demand your right! yourselves and crucify him. You cannot, nor can I, for I find no fault in him. We have our own law, and by our law, he ought to die for pretending to be the Son of God. Bring the prisoner inside. Where do you come from? What? You have no word for me? Do you not know that I have power to release you? And power to crucify you? You would not have any power over me at all if it had not been given you from above. That is why the man who gave me up to you is more guilty. Take him before the judgment seat. him what you will. Crucify him.
is the Galilean. He who spoke at the temple. He bears a cross. They're going to crucify him. What folly is this? The man is good. Did you hear him this morning when he claimed to be the son of God? That man, Roman, what crime is his? Ask your priest, old man. This man, I thought he was a prophet. If he is, then I sorrow for this city. I would be witness that he is no criminal. live to the hill. Oh! <laughs> Who can understand these people? At the Praetorium, they scream for his death. Here they weep.
assist the prisoner. Press someone to help him carry his cross. You are a husky ox. Come along. I'm not a criminal. Rome builds the crosses. Let Romans carry them. Pick it up. Shoulder, Roman. Can we not post to? Save your breath for the hell. Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but for yourselves and for your children. You're 
forgiveness, Master. Move on. <laughs> Raise it up.
Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Looking at Roman, come to look at death. Great Roman, save me from this suffering. Try this one. He calls himself your Christ. Maybe he will save you. Maybe he'll set you free. <laughs> The Chosen One, the Son of God. Let him come down from the cross and save himself. Then we will believe him. Save yourself, Galilean. <laughs> you who would destroy the temple and in three days build it up again. Save yourself. <laughs> come down from your cross, great king. Others, heal yourself. <laughs> One of your miracles now, oh great Christ. Christ, savior of what? Are you not the Christ? Christ, save your and die. <laughs> have you no fear of God, though you have been condemned to the same punishment? We suffer just, and are getting what we deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you return the glory of your kingdom. I promise you, this day you will be with me in paradise.
Come on. Another wager, Remus. A little more than a no, and you've won half my pay. Let us gamble for the king's robe, huh? Done. Are they dead yet? I've seen men live three days hung on a cross with rope and two days hung with nails. It will not be so with these. They will be dead and off their crosses by sunset. The legs will be broken if need be. These are pilot's orders. This is the one they call the Christ. If the bodies remain here after sunset, the priests say it will defile their Sabbath. I have never seen bravery like this. Even on the battlefield. What evil has he done? They say he blasphemed against their God. If the law of Moses says the body of this man would defile the Sabbath, then the law is wrong. I will see that Pilate's orders are executed. <laughs> Some Stay where you are. You're gathering, huh? I've seen them in the crowd most of the day. Relatives, perhaps. What is your business here? This is Mary, mother of Jesus. And who are you? I am his follower and his friend. My name is John. You are close enough. Behold thy son. Son. Behold thy mother. Where is this friend of the crucified who would speak with me? That is the man, just inside the clearing, sir. I know this man, Centurion. He is Joseph, the Arimathean, a member of the Sanhedrin.
sitting up all night in the cold to guard a dead man. It makes no sense. <laughs> in another hour, you'll be complaining about the heat. You should consider your good fortune, Sextus. The dawn. And you've had no body stealers to fight off. Tell you his body is not there. The tomb is empty. You must have felt the earthquake. And it was this earthquake which rolled the stone back? No. Are you certain you looked in the tomb? When the priest sealed the tomb, your Messiah. Do not use that term. Call him what you will. When the priest sealed the tomb, he was inside. At sunrise, there was an earthquake. Afterward, when all was quiet, the stone rolled back by itself. And the tomb was empty. We all saw it. I approached the entrance of the tomb. Did you go inside? Yes, I told you. I went inside. And the body of this Jesus was not there. You could report that his disciples came by night and stole him away while you were asleep. A Roman soldier does not sleep on duty. The penalty is death. Should the procurator hear of this, I can persuade him and secure you. But if we were asleep, how would we know of the theft? Oh, no one will ask. has been rolled back. The tomb is open. They have stolen him away. I must tell Peter. I must tell Peter and the others.
Mary Magdalene, with her own eyes, saw that the tomb was empty. Who would want to steal his body? I told you the talk in the streets. The soldiers say it was his disciples. We are his disciples. Until an hour ago, none of us left here since sundown of the Sabbath. The master had other friends. And enemies. What reason would they have? The reason, you see, to bring us out of hiding. Peter and John sent rushing into the streets in broad daylight. And into the waiting arms of Caiaphas soldiers. What? What did you find? Is the master's body stolen? Did you enter the tomb? Tell us, Peter, tell us. The master has risen. Then his body's gone? We went into the tomb, and it was empty. The stone rolled back, the seal broken. The soldiers themselves must have taken him. No, no, he has not been taken. He is risen. He appeared to Magdalene. She saw the nail marks in his hands. When we entered the tomb, we saw his burial clothes. Would they be there if the body had been stolen? The burial clothes and the words of women. Peter. He, he has risen. We saw no one at the tomb. It had been sealed and the seal broken. The burial clothes were there, with a folded headpiece apart from the others, on a narrow ledge. Peace be to you. It is I. Fear not. Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? See my hands and feet, that it is I myself. Handle and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see me to have. Have you anything to eat?
Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be condemned. stand you looking up to heaven. This Jesus who is taken from you shall so come as you have seen him going into heaven. unto the consummation of the world. 